All right, thank you, Claire. Well, more than 100 people are still missing out of Dawson Springs. Take a look at that. Just a snippet of some of the damage. Our 44 News anchor Jessica Hartman has been in that community throughout the day. She joins us live tonight. She's also in Barnsley over in Hopkins County. Jessica, what can you tell us? Hi, Brian. Yes, we were in, in Dawson Springs earlier today where confirmed our 17 dead. I spoke to FEMA. They say they will continue their search recovery efforts tomorrow. They say, thankfully, the biggest success that they've seen during this two days that they've been running the efforts is that they haven't recovered any bodies. And that means hopefully most of the people that are unaccounted for are alive and simply have not checked in. Now, here in Barnsley, we're actually just a couple houses down from where Jake's story brought you just a few minutes ago. And when you look at this home, you think, gosh, how could anybody survive? But an 80 year old couple did survive. And if you zoom in here, this was what left of their living room. And you can see there's, I don't know how they did, but some ceramic angels, a Santa on the table there that all managed to survive the tornado that swept through. The man, I'm told, was asleep right there on one of those couches when the storm hit. And if we walk this way, it's almost like we're giving a tour of a home that you expect to build and they've taken away the walls so you can see what the interior will look like. But down that hallway, that's their bedroom and that's where his wife was asleep both asleep they were awoken by what i can only imagine is earth shattering sounds and through the dark and the rain and all of the debris that they've now even already started to clear away they found each other and made their way down this hill to a truck that was still there and waited it out for their grandson who spent several hours either by truck stopping every few feet to remove debris from the road and then eventually giving up and climbing over trees on foot over a hill and through the woods literally to make sure that his grandparents were okay and they tell me just a few bumps and bruises the biggest and maybe a little light-hearted note in this story is they lost their dentures both of them and they were both recovered and okay and so not only have they've been reunited with the family but their dentures as well i actually spoke to the family they were here cleaning up earlier i'll have that side of the story for you at 9 and 10 reporting live in barnsley jessica hartman 44 news